because it is your idea as a CEO that not necessarily they will own it. You don't go with the ideas to the team. You go with the problem. Let the idea win, not you win, not they win or he win or she win. Let the idea win. And when the idea wins, everybody wins. First, where could be the gap? And we'll talk about the internal communication as well. Where could be the gap in this scenario? Number one, either the process is not the best. Okay, number one. Number two, this is your process, not their process. The ownership of this process is on, still on you. You're imposing. They're not owning it. There's a big difference. You as a CEO, you want your team to run with this, but they don't own it. You know, it's for your idea. That's, that could be another problem, right? Third could be the problem is you do not have regular um, checks. checks. Yes, checks. It's called the rhythm. Like recently we discussed in uh, PPML that how do you have the rhythm, execution rhythm. So you don't have execution rhythm. It's like, you know, they're, they're a bunch of, you know, imagine this newbies and team members, no? They're like kids, kindergarten kids, right? Imagine a kindergarten, you know, teacher saying that, Bacho, I'm going to go out, be quiet, be nice, okay? Okay, I'm going to go. What do you think he's going to do? <laughs> ah, by the time, it's like people pulling each other's hair and all that, right? So you, as a leader, you need to know how to communicate. They are kids. You need to give them proper structure. But think about the same teacher. So he said, you know, kids, what are we going to do? We're going to play game. Yes. Who wants to play game? Yeah, 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 me, 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 me. Okay, good, good. What game shall we play? You know, somebody said this, pakada pakadi, go on, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, uh, uh, somebody will say the game uh, like this. You know, how about this game? I don't know, make up some game which, which makes them quiet, right? Maybe stare at something or do something. And let's say who, you know, who, who keeps quiet for longer, right? Let's see. I don't know what kind of game you come up with, which is the result that you want, okay? And I'm going I'm to step out, okay? And then we say, okay, let's practice this game before you step out, okay? So, okay, let's practice this game. One minute, nobody's talking, right? And somebody, you know, failed. Oh, you failed. You're out or something, right? I don't know. And then, okay, now, now you understand? Yes, yes, okay. Now I'm gonna go. You play the game now, okay? Now they play the game, you're out, and then you still observe. You're still not gone, gone. You're still next to the door and seeing what are they behaving, how they're behaving when you're gone, right? And then if something is going wrong, again you come back, and again you fix it. Again you're gone. You do that a couple of times, now you see that's quiet. Okay, fine, now I can do. It is their ownership. Same thing, how does that apply in business? Because it is your idea as a CEO, that's not necessarily they will own it. You don't go with the ideas to the team. You go with the problem to the team. You're not the idea creator. If it is your idea, then it's your idea, no? Khudi kar lo Right? Humko ki bata rahe idea hai, karo khud. This is what happens internally, not consciously, subconsciously happens. They do not take the ownership because your idea, it is your process. Versus you say, here's the problem, guys. What should we do? Let them brainstorm. Oh, this idea, this idea. There. Because it's coming from them, they will not debate, they will not argue and make sure everybody has a buy-in. Yes, understand? And then once they have the buy-in, let them execute you give the process that, you know, how about this? How about that? You can also throw the ideas when they are brainstorming and they're giving the ideas, right? And then let the idea win, not you win. Not they win or he win or she win. Let the idea win. And when the idea wins, everybody wins. That is a culture that you want to create. Okay, not because I'm a CEO, my idea is the best, right? And, and you don't have to say it, but you have to make them feel and realize this, that, hey, you know, you're the champion. You're doing the best. Like, I'm here. I'm one of you. And then, execution, have the daily, weekly reporting, weekly rhythm, or daily numbers, or daily reporting, so you know that things are happening and falling in place. Take care? Yeah? Your job as a leader is to make sure that your next line is as good as you in terms of communication and articulation. 
and then they will make sure that the next level of leaders they are good at communication and articulation so how do you communicate it not by imposing again whatever you did brainstorming right so when they go to their teams you tell them hey guys this is the problem you know we we were brainstorming ideas and there are few things that we come up with but if you were the ceo how would you execute it or if you were the leader how would you execute it i mean with this 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 how about this this is what we come up with and then they will execute it okay leadership level is good you understand this is i'm talking about multiple hierarchies okay if it's a small team it's simple it's easy everybody hears directly from you and then all ties back to the bigger mission and vision and this has to be combined with the culture as well by the way huh? it is not just enough to have a good communication and bad culture culture has to go hand in hand right but that's a different topic right so when you but you you do building the great culture you know the the team centric culture helping them supporting them always thinking from their point of view is very very crucial and you do that and then you combine with communication the friction will be very less